Oh man, look at all five pixels. Let's see if we can get you to a... Uh... Oh boy. Do you have a... Do you have a settings menu of any kind? Is this... Could it be? Is this game in 4x3? I've got a profile. Credits. Quit. Ah! Uh, what did I just do? I think I just clicked out of the window. Let's bring it back. This is an old game. This is an old game. Alright. Let's get in there. Oh, now it's not recording. Oh, you old games. You always fight me. Oh, you always fighting me, games. World of Goo Corporation. Goo balls you collect in each level gets sent here. Yeah, sure, but I don't- I wanna... Oh, crap. Oh, it wasn't recording because I accidentally clicked on OBS when I clicked out of the window. And I clicked on the World of Goo and started dragging it around in the editor. I don't think this game has 1080p. World of Goo 1080p. I'm searching it online to see if it's possible. Maybe that's the thing. Anyway, this is a Patreon requested. Let's try. This one was requested by Sage Genesis, one of the new people. Uh, as far as I can tell, I, th I think this is just what this game renders as. That's fine. That's fine. I'll just very carefully not click out of the window, and we'll get. To, we'll just go for it. This game came out uh, a long time ago. I don't remember when. I would guess like 2012 or so. I forgot to actually check in advance. Let's just hop in there into chapter one. This is from the creator of Little Inferno and uh, a Human Resource Machine and a few other games that are... So they're still making games. I think they just made a game called Seven Billion Humans recently. I don't have a code for that one, I don't think, yet. But I've actually played this game before. Uh, drag and drop to build the next... Uh, build to the pipe. So I, I played this game before, but it was way back when it was new, and I think I only played it for one session. But it's one of it's one of these bridge building games as we see nowadays too. But the idea is you can just grab a little goop and you can drag them around, and you can put them somewhere. But it has to be within a range. And I think the closer it is, the better the supports are, or something. I'm not sure. The basic idea is you're trying to reach a goal, and you do it by building something out of these guys. They need to build. They need to connect to the exit point, and then they all escape. And you get graded by, based on how many escape at the end, basically, and that this fills up, you're good. Otherwise, you might want to try to build a whole new structure. So my goal there was to collect four, I collected nine. So it's a little... bit of like a physics puzzle game, more or less. That's probably the right thing to call it. It's a little neato. Small divide. Easier than it looks. This is my mouse right there. It always looks like this. What's that? Why is the... Oh. That was an indicator of where the goal was. I was like, why does that look a lot like a mouse pointer? From across a small divide, another mysterious pipe appeared up in the sky. Its opening looked warm and inviting. The goo balls seemed to wonder where it might lead. The sign painter. The sign painter is the creator of story, the master of narrative, the- oh god, please don't kill me. Oh no, what have I done? We're learning about physics here. The more you add to these things, the heavier they get. And that can be bad news if you want to live. There we go. I was able to add support. So two lessons are being learned here. One, it leans downward as the weight gets built up, and then also, doop, and you get into range of existing ones, you collect them and they get added to the swarm. And so you just need to build your way to the thing while having a net loss that's lower than how many you have to collect. Looks like I got 13 out of 18, yep. So the little, there's probably some risk reward in some levels, I don't really know, I can't. Uh, my me memory-wise, I can't tell you what a single level looks like or anything. It was a very long time ago. I think I played this on a laptop, just kind of hanging out in a cabin. 
Right. We were like we were we were at a cabin near Tahoe. It was sn we were snowed in. All the roads were closed, and I was just trying to play games on my laptop to pass the time. Uh, the power was out too, so it was like a matter of like, oh man, what will I what will I do with my power being out? Uh, how much can I even accomplish? I played some World of Goo and I played Final Fantasy VII, I think, on the PC, which I didn't get very far in. I don't really remember any of the story, honestly. But that was a day I remember. I remember which games I played better than I remember the games themselves. Hang low. Wake up the sleeping goo. This game must be even older than 2012. I'm trying to think. That was that was like a different life I had back then. This cave looks like it's been undisturbed for thousands of years until now, when the pipe broke through the ceiling above. The sunlight must have blinded these rare albino goo balls. They didn't seem to notice when it began to snow. Maybe they would wake up if they had something to jump onto. A sign painter. Now, thinking back now, I think this game came out back when indie games were first kind of spiking a little bit. Right around the time of, like, Gish and, uh, Braid and a few other games. I would guess this game came out somewhere between 2006 to 2008. Is probably my best guess. I'm not totally sure, though. Okay, so these guys are active right now. These ones are all asleep, so I need to build down to them. Right now, I have the advantage, I think, of that I don't- I don't think I have to worry about my structural integrity. Because I'm anchored the high points and I'm building down instead of up. So instead I just want to maximize how far down I can go. Which unfortunately isn't very far. But as the weight builds, I can probably get further down. There we go. Join me, all of you. Join me better, please. Oh no, there's one down there. And so my goal is now to get up way the hell up there. Okay. Be careful with this. Yeah, let's do maximum, maximum support there. There we go. There's one more down there I haven't woken up, but it'll cost me one just to build towards it, and if I'm lucky, I'll collect them just by getting heavier. Have I done that? Yep. I figured if I just get heavier, he'll show up. Probably didn't even need to build that far down. I probably was going to automatically sink while I was building this up. And that probably would have taken care of a lot of it for me. There we go. I think you can rush it a little bit. I think that when you connect, when you're ready to connect to the pipe, if you just connect to it as fast as possible, uh, I think it anchors you at that point. So it's even if it looks like you're about to tip over, if you grab the pipe really quickly, I think you get away with it. World of Goo Corporation. It is oddly... S this this mouse pointer is oddly satisfying to look at as it goes swooping around the screen, leaving a trail all the time. Woo! And it's, it, I like that it's on camera during like little kind of cutscenes too. Or not. Here's a real cutscene. Now open. I think they've made a point to have all of their games exist in the same universe. Let's go shopping! The world of Goo Corporation's unlocked. I think all of their games have existed in the same universe, more or less. And they're usually got some sort of vague sense of like, uh... There's usually some sort of vague criticism of consumerism going on in these games, about evil corporations or something. That was definitely a big part of it, like, uh, Little Inferno was very much a criticism of, uh, of, uh, consumerism in general. It's also just a really amusing, relaxing game. Let's see, our valued friend, you must be connected to the internet to see other, play other players in the sky. Connect. I have to give it permission to connect to the internet, I'm like, I'm already on Steam. That's how you know this game's old, I guess. It'll show other players in the background and their towers. And then you, like, you see how there's other players, like, you want to be as good as them, don't you? Is your internet working? I'm guessing this game, his servers are probably down or whatever. 
As you complete levels, the extra goo balls you collect are sent here. How nice to see them again, though they seem to have lost their essence. This must be the World of Goo Corporation's sleek new Campus 2.0. They say employees are given free cereal, and they ride to meetings on scooters. World of Goo Corporation executives say this area is infinite in all directions. If you look hard, you can see other people here too, building towers off in the distance. Strange. Everyone just wants to build up. What's up there, anyway? Some kind of metagame? See you real soon, the sign painter. Boing. You all ready for a metagame? Let's go up, up, recklessly up, with abandon. Can I spread? Can I center it? I can't. Seemingly. That one just connects the two. We're probably gonna wanna have a base. This whole thing doesn't fall over. That'd be a problem. This thing's gonna get very tall. There we go. It's already tipping. L already a little concerned about that. There is a reset button, so if I mess up, I don't have to start the entire game over or anything. And I believe it saves my progress. Impale Sticky. If you get in trouble, I couldn't read that because it loaded too fast. Alright. The Goo Balls were excited to explore the mysterious pipe system. Even if it meant traversing ridiculously contrived terrain. One of the Goo Balls seemed to say he felt like an armadillo. Moo. Love the mysterious sign painter. Armadillo Moo? What? Ah, it's one of these. Pop a time bug to go back in time. Buy one, move. Alright, so... Yeah. Saw blades are bad. Don't touch the saw blade, or bad will happen. Very bad will happen. Very bad. I believe I'm gonna want to counterweight myself on purpose. So I don't fall or go directly into the saw blade. Because if I touch the saw blade. Let's see. There we go. Let's anchor. Let's try to hang down more. If you touch the saw blade, your uh, goos get destroyed. And if your goos get destroyed, you lose. Okay, now I think I'm anchored to the tar. I think I'm stuck now and I'm good. Now I can try a little more. But yeah, like that's that's you basically want to just start the level over if you touch the saw blade because I think you lose those goos instantly. And then once you lose the goos, then they're like, "What's the point, right?" That's permanent negative progress towards your goal. Might as well just try again. Okay, I'm gonna want to connect this thing before it it falls down. Can I connect this thing so that it like anchors itself? There we go. That'll support it a little better. Oh no, I think I- did I- I think I just dragged one into the saw blade directly. I wasn't thinking about them as being solid when I was carrying them. But I think that's how that works, actually. That's a problem. Gotta be careful and drag them around. Before bad happens. There we go. Wake up! Wake up! Join me! We need to go to the World of Goo Corporation and suck out your souls. Please wake up. All of you? Oh, Don't leave me hanging here. Alright. Goodbye that one guy, you don't count. <laughs> that should be more than 26, right? No! No! I failed. I failed horribly. Oh. Turns out that I suck. I suck at the video games. I always have. I've tricked you all. I think that sound means it's already stuck, so I, that's probably all I need to do. I was I didn't see the tar at first when I started this level. I could have planned accordingly. I understood the consequences. 
Let's see, that should anchor you so you stop leaning down more and more. That's so gooey. No, I wanted to attach them. Crap. Time bug. Damn it. Time bug. There we go. I'm like, stop messing me up, game. With your finickiness. You're so... You're so gooey. And vaguely annoying. We can do this. Oh, I just... I just carried one directly into the saw blade again, didn't I? There we go. I did it with less this time, I think. You really don't have any range at all, do you? Damn. I can work with that. Wake up. Aha! Success. That should be 26, right? Man, a lot of them had to survive. Join us. Yes. And that's how you iterate, ladies and gentlemen. A choice. Infinite choices. Diverging path. Ivory Towers. Let's give one a go. Brace yourself. Yeah, you know, they're hairy. Oh, they're green. A new species, a goo ball. I must say, they look quite beautiful. Maybe they have a co commitment anxiety. I'm not sure. But it looks like they can be easily detached from each other. The helpful sign painter. Ah. That changes things quite a bit, doesn't it? Because that means I can build my way up to the top. And the wider I get, the more it'll stay here. And then I can remove these guys. Oh, crap. Gotta get those ones. Don't want to leave them down there. There you go. I can yank them off. Be like, join me up here. If a goo ball falls uh, into a well 10 meters deep and, cli and climbs up 3 meters each day, but slides down 2 meters at night, Will it still look fabulous in the morning? Maybe if he were to brace himself against the walls as hard as he could, and believe in the power of friction, he could leave the ground behind. Your friend, the sign painter. Oh, I'm way ahead of you, game. I have the power of friction in my hands. That was an inappropriate thing to say. We're just gonna ignore that. Like, cricket sounding? Let you guys rejoin the mass. I'm trying to oh. I'm trying to I'm trying to properly extend it. I'm having trouble. Oh, that was a mistake. Alright, uh whoops. Oh, that was a mistake. Okay. Okay. I see the downside of this. Oh, shit. Yes, I do. Alright. Join the group. There we go. So the downside of them being easily detachable is you have to be super careful because when you grab one, you have to make sure you're grabbing one of the roaming ones and not one of the structural ones or your structure is going to come apart. That's a problem. There we go. Join us at the top. Come. Oh boy. Oh no. It's all jelly like. Yeah, I want to have them stick out. Yeah, that's annoying. I'm trying to make them stick out more, but there's kind of like a equilibrium distance this game kind of establishes. Okay. Okay, so what I'm learning here is that it doesn't really matter where I uh, where I precisely put these guys. They very much try to 
equal. They try to make all of these equidistant. So like here, it just pushed them outward because it tried to create the same distance that all the other ones had. Okay, so I was trying to position them correctly, but all that matters is which ones they're connected to. It'll make the scaffolding it wants to from there, whether you like it or not. Alright, well now I can use the power of friction to very carefully climb upward. Yeah, they move and adjust. They reequate themselves. Please don't fall. Please don't. I don't know why I went I don't know why I went there exactly. Now it should be kind of clear to just do what I want. I just need to get enough up there that it connects without making the whole thing collapse. Let's be greedy. Let's be greedy. Greedy, greedy. Uh, I think that's the most I can do. That's 8 out of 2, that's pretty good. Anything else, I think the whole thing's gonna fall. Ooh! Ooh, I got away with that one. That's all I can do, though. Yeah, it's falling now. Goodbye. I've doomed you all to a horrible death. Or whatever. I don't even know what you guys are. Do you guys die? Do you feel? Do you care? Goodbye. This is me waving with my goo hand, which is a goo. Alright, so we got a new goo on that side. We must get a new goo on this side. The flying machine. Some balls are lighter than... I couldn't read that in time either. Open the gates and fly, monkeys fly. But don't forget about me, okay? Sincerely, the sign painter. They're made of balloons. Isn't that neato? Aren't you neat? Alright. So I think my goal is to make... I think I'm just supposed to attach balloons to this, aren't I? And then it'll fly up to... Yep, there's the pipe. But I don't need to use any of the black pieces. I just need you to fly. 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 There we go. Ta-da. Six out of four. No need to expand. So now if we want to, we can alternate between two different game mechanics. Because I assume each of these branches heavily focuses on each of those particular mechanics. Tumblr. That was a very quick one. Oh. That's a fun background. Oh. Oh. Okay. Is he gonna fall over now? Yep. Alright. This'll be a weird one. I suppose my goal will just be to keep growing? It's gonna keep falling over constant. If it's gonna keep falling over constantly, then I can't really... Gr I can't really grow in a particular direction. So I think my goal is just to make giant thing. And try to attach it to the pipe when I can get there. An attempt is being made. Go, 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 go! No! Disappointing. Quickly. Aha! That's a, that's a strong success. Could do better, perhaps? Nope. Oh, that was a mistake. Oh, there it goes. Now, now it's a shit show. It's fine. It's just a neat little game. Fun little time passer. It's one of those ones where, like, 
I could almost I could almost potentially see myself doing a full playthrough, but also at the same time I'm kind of like there's so little to talk about. It's kind of just a fun little screw around game where I would just I'm just as happy to just be like, "Hey, check this game out." and then let people f discover it for themselves. Cuz I'm I have nothing to say most of the time. Fisty swore he would never be like those tadpoles that grow up and shoot colored gems out of their mouths, but he wondered what it might be like. The sign painter. Is that a Zuma reference? Isn't it the isn't it Zuma the game where there's like a giant there's a golden frog I think that shoots a bunch of gems out and you like try to shoot them. We played that with the uh, I had uh, Andrew played a Zuma clone uh, uh, for one of our let's tries. And it was very cloney. It was a very cloney Zuma clone. Oh boy. I, uh, I may have overinflated a little bit. Wow, there's a... There's a heavy discrepancy. Isn't there? There's a hell of a weight discrepancy as you grow. Where, it, like, one additional thing makes it go straight down. And then... Oh, no! Failure, I'm just gonna retry. Yeah, if, if you touch the water at all, you're in trouble. So I should probably, like, over... Could just try to go overboard on inflation. Oops, wrong one. Yeah, I only need I only need six to make it. Oh, and you can't go too high because there's spikes up there. Oh yeah, this is a problem. Oh, there's spikes down there too. I thought it was just the goo that was a problem. But no, it's the spikes. I'm fucked. It's going back and forth between them constantly. This one's a bit of a struggle. Is it gonna hit it again? What I probably need is more scaffolding back here to hold it together. More... A little bit more, uh... Consistently or something, so it doesn't sway so much. It moves so violently with every addition. Calm down. No, don't go back up there. No! Oh. Oh, we can lose the one down there, too. Yep, yep, that might go now. Oh, I'm all out of balloons. I wasted all the balloons. I should have rewind, tried to rewind time earlier, since that's an option. Now I'm just, now I'm just going to lose again. Hooray! Video games are hard. I remember I was never good at this game. It's, that's coming back to me now. There's a genuine struggle involved. I try to lodge you up in this mouth. Wonder if I can get really stuck. So I don't have to struggle so much with building. If I build in a really awkward upward direction, then maybe I just don't have to worry about the balloons as much. I'm trying to build upwards as much as possible to make it really awkward. Oh, it's going down now. Don't hit it! Nah. <laughs> I'm like, god damn, it's the first balloon. Calm down, game. It's a hell of a back and forth with the pressures. No! Okay, that's a weird structure. No, 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 no. Don't, don't pop. Oh, boy. I'm not doing exceptionally well. Oh, there's no hinge, so it's freaking out. Can I reattach a hinge? I can I can attach that at least. Now I've got I've got like none to survive, do I? I don't know if I'll be able to beat this, honestly. Not in a reasonable time, I mean. I mean I can keep playing this indefinitely and then eventually I'll win. This is a struggle though. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Alright. That's fine. 
Let's go play with the greenies. Chain. Oh, there they are. Oh yeah, this game gets weird. This game gets really weird. The goo balls on this side don't seem to like the goo ball over there on, the, on that side. I don't know, they look the same to me. Totally delicious. The sign painter. Here's the weird thing, it's like, it's suggested that the goo balls are sentient and alive and so on. Here they have like, it's suggesting that they have a history, right? Like they have monuments, apparently. They have different races, they have maybe even a culture or prejudices, and we're eating them. <laughs> it reminds me of, uh, what was the game I played? Let's see, probably build my way down. <clears throat> it reminds me of, uh, what was the game I played recently? We're trying to prove whether or not humans are sentient because aliens want to eat them. <laughs> that was kind of a funny premise. It was called Test. Everyone join me so I can unmake this bridge, which no longer serves a purpose now that I've done that. Get off my bridge! Oopsie. No! Now I've got to go back down there. Come to me. You can make the jump, right? Damn it. I don't know why. Oh god, I did it again. Oh wait, they were already mine. I didn't... Right. Oh, I forgot. When they're already mine, it doesn't matter if they fall, does it? I think I can just pick them up. I'm not sure. Get off this one. I want to bring it back up. Nope. Get off of here. There we go. Haha. -ha. Now we build downwards yet again. I don't care what your prejudices are. We have to build. Why aren't the greens coming over here? Come here, come here. I have to use you guys because you can be reused. The other guys are gonna. Be, the, guys, the other guys are permanent and wasteful. Come on. Nope. Not what I was going for. Almost there. I should have started further to the right, apparently. Eh. Yes, all of them in one go. Satisfying. Perfect. I gotta remember that if I highlight one, it stops moving. Which is kind of productive to me waiting for them to leave, sometimes. Go away. Go away. Leave us alone. You assholes. Stop it. I said stop it. Okay, fine. So can I- oh, I, yeah, I can just pick them up. It doesn't matter. No, I just wasted that one. Damn it. So here's where the problem's gonna be. I'm trying to build up to there, but I'm on top of this thing that's rolling back and forth. I think it's gonna seesaw the more that I build. Yep. Yep. That's why an infrastructure can be helpful. I'm trying to catch all the greens. Yamako. They have a language and everything. And you're murdering them all, you monster. You're murdering them all. Get up there. Oh, yeah. Get up there. Right up in there. So many of them get to join the fun. Oh, I messed it up. Oh, uh, well. That's why we can't have nice things. Because Keith sucks at video games. Yummy. Burn him, mash him, put him in a stew. That's not the quote. That's not the right quote. Anyway, guys, this is World of Goo. Thanks to Sage Genesis for the request and the, and the Patreon support. 
Uh, no thanks to the developers for a code. I, I'm pretty sure I bought this one with my own money back in the day. But like always, if you want to check out this game, there's a link to the game itself in the description. It's on Steam and whatnot. Also, there might be a way to make it run in 1080. I'm not sure. Uh, I found a thread for a second, but it was talking about there being technical problems when they tried to do it. So I just kind of... I kind of just stuck with this because I, I just wanted the game to run correctly. Uh, thanks for watching, like always. And also, you know, check out the other games these guys made. They made some weird games. See you guys next time. Mm -hmm.